Hi everybody, I'm David Vonderhaar, Studio Design Director at Treyarch. And I'm Miles Leslie, MP and Blackout Producer at Treyarch. We are here to give you a new map briefing, this time for... Alcatraz, brand new Blackout map. All right, let's jump into it. What's Alcatraz all about? Alcatraz is a small island, and that means super fast pace, frenetically fun fighting. And our Zombies players might recognize this, but we've handcrafted Alcatraz for the Blackout experience. What makes Alcatraz special and different than the core Blackout map? So as an island, we've got 40 players in a quad configuration, so that's 10 teams battling it out, but the other big thing, Respawns. What respawns mean here, while similar to Hot Pursuit or Down But Not Out, is that they're on a timer. Every 30 seconds, up to five times, you can redeploy back into this game. You're not waiting for the map to collapse. All right, Vaughn, everyone wants to know. Are there zombies? Are there zombies? <laughs> so listen, it's Alcatraz. I'll, you know, there might be some zombies over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. I don't know. You have to find out for yourself. The other big change is how you deploy. Are you telling me that we no longer have a helicopter flight path over the island? That's right. You and your squad are going to deploy from randomly spawned portals over the entire island. And from those portals, you can reach any spot. And when you land and start looting, you might notice some other surprises. Alcatraz has items in all the kinds of places that you might expect, but what makes this special is the idea of the weapon wall buy. At these locations, you're guaranteed to find a new weapon every 30 seconds. Great way to be successful when dropping in, learn those wall buys. They might save you. Even though Alcatraz is a small island, it still has plenty of destinations. The main one, of course, the cell house in the direct center of the map. A lot of fun comes from the decisions you have to make, especially after you land. Let's say you land ruins, for example, a lot more open, got some decisions to make. Do I go high and get to the verticality towards the cell house, or do I weave my way through the parade grounds towards the cottages? This is where my strategy typically picks up. I like to grab a building, loot it all, lock it down, find my teammates, and then plot out the next move. I love you, Vaughn, but that's just the wrong strategy. What I like to do here is get up high, take the lighthouse, own that, get in the cell house, and just lock it down. I used to love you. <laughs> Alcatraz has some very special map features of its own, like the tram. I love this thing. So we talked about that verticality. If you land docks and you want to run your way all the way up, you're going to have to weave through these stairs and get all the way up there. It's going to take a little bit of time. Or you try to get to this tram, get all the way up there, and if the circle's pushing you back down, grab that tram, ride it all the way down. Let's get a closer look at the most iconic of buildings in Alcatraz, the cell house. Now this building is huge, and there's so many different ways to land on it, around it, and get into it. It really can suit your different play style. My favorite thing in all of Alcatraz is this view right here. This long range interior stacked combat is extremely satisfying when your squad can take over the whole cell block. Alcatraz has some of the best room to room, building to building combat that you'll find. And in between those buildings, you're really gonna get this sandbox of different types of experiences, compact and kind of joined together. If we take a look here, got these roads that cut through, which you might experience some more longer range combat. But if you're moving your way up the island, up these stairs, that's gonna be a different experience. Normally when I'm looking at cliffs like this, I gotta go around, but is this something that's actually traversable? Absolutely, we really wanna reward the player for taking risks in this sandbox, and if you mantle those up, you might outsmart someone that's taking the more traditional route on the stairs. This is really what makes Alcatraz special. If the tactics that you're using in the moment are not working out so well, you're not that far away from trying a different approach. Alcatraz is really intense, close range, super fast action right off the gate.